Hello friends, it's Reza, and I'm doing something a little different today. I wanted to uh, participate in um, a nail polish, uh, indie polish tag that I saw um, Gailene uh, do on her channel, um, and it looked pretty interesting, and I don't have many indie polishes, but I adore them. So um, I asked my friend Judy from Judinkum Nail Art if she wanted to um, team up with me and, and both of us tackle this tag um, since I I, uh, I didn't want to do it just on my own. I um, wanted to find out somebody else's opinions too. Uh, it's always nice to learn about somebody's loves uh, of indie polish. So anyway, I uh, wanted to start off. Uh, it's just a list of nine questions and I don't have many indie polishes. I'm going through kind of a rocky period right now um, without income, uh, but I, I have been given some interesting and beautiful gifts. Um, and in fact, my first indie polish was a present from my friend Barbara. And that's the first question. This is Night Owl Lacquer, Battle of Hogwarts. Um, and unfortunately, it's not, it was available through the polish pickup, so it's not available anymore. But this is just a gorgeous polish. I'm going to swatch it on, of all things, a stamper. Let's see how beautiful that is with all those multicolored shimmers in there. Just amazing. Just amazing. So that was my first indie polish and it set the stage for a love of these, um, of this category of, of polish. It's, it's better than anything that mainstream has ever put out. And that's really the point of it. Um, and I'll talk about that just a little, just in a little bit, uh, because it's the answer to one of the questions, my opinion of indie polish. Anyway, number two is, um, name an indie polish lemming that you can't get a hold of. And I don't have a specific um, discontinued or difficult to get polish that um, I don't have access to. But as I said, right now, I don't really have access to new polish. <laughs> so I uh, would love to pretty much uh, try any tonic or KB shimmer polish. I haven't had a chance to get uh, any of those and I would love to try them. Um, everything that those two companies makes uh, those indie polish brands makes is just beautiful. Um, I encourage you if you haven't seen them to go ahead and check them out. Uh, number three is an indie polish that you bought because of a YouTuber. I've mentioned Braves Diva Nails on my channel before. I adore her. Uh, she taught me about indie polish. Her brand Braves Diva Polish was the first indie polish brand I had ever heard of. I went and checked it out and I saw that her creams and her duo chromes are just to die for. I do have uh, a few of her polishes and once I'm able, I will be getting more. Um, they water marble so well and I can't water marble, so it's kind of lost on me, but they water marble so well. This was one of her Christmas limited editions. I want to show you this one. It was, it's called Nutcracker Jacks and she just, she builds the most beautiful polishes. So here's, I don't know if, there's fuzz on this thing. I don't know if you can see that. Those particles of glitter and the little blue shimmers in that white, that is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. All right. So that is uh, Braves Diva, and um, my number four question is my favorite and my least favorite type of indie polish. So I have a pretty diverse taste. I'm not, I'm not too terribly picky about polishes. I, I love polish. So um, the only thing that I really dislike is jellies. I'm not a big fan of jellies, although they do have their place. Uh, and polishes with funny shaped glitter, like hex glitter and um, like little the little long thin confetti glitter. I I, I can't stand those. I do, I just don't like them. So uh, I I don't buy those. So anyway, um, that's what I don't like. What I do like is foils are my favorite and hollows a close second. I love creams with shimmer. Um, 
glitter polishes are, are great, but they're a little hard to get off, um, uh, as we all know. Uh, that's when we want to peel off base coat, right? And uh, duochromes are gorgeous, just gorgeous. So that's my favorite and least favorite. Uh, number five is indie polish that fits your personality to a T. Uh, since indie polish in general is about not settling for what's uh, readily available and creating what you want on your own, um, the whole indie polish phenomenon is uh, an inspiration to me. And that's, it fits my personality to a T, I would say. So I, I really do adore the whole idea behind indie polish. And I think it's something that we can all take a little bit from. Number six is what indie polish company do you wish you owned every color and collection from? Right now, um, I am really crazy about polish, um, besides Brave Steven Nails, of course. Uh, but right now, I'm really crazy about polish. And so they've got this uh, current called Kawaii. That if you do galaxy manicures, this is like the pure perfection of what polish to use for a galaxy manicure, besides just, you know, wearing it because you love it. I love this polish so much and thank heaven due to a gift I was able to get it so this is just a, a phenomenal polish and while it's still available I recommend that everybody buy it so uh, um, and Braves Diva Nails has uh, so many colors and uh, types um, you know, she does glitter, she does duochrome, she does, she's just, she's just so creative. I, I wish I had every color and collection from her too. So number seven is name an indie polish that physically made your jaw drop when you first saw it. Uh, the first indie polish that made my jaw drop when I saw it was KB Shimmer, Shimmer's Alloy Matey, uh, which is a, a silver hollow, uh, but it is just so beautiful that, uh, and, and I believe it's, it's still available, I think. That's, uh, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think. Uh, anyway, um, so we've got only two more questions. Oh, the other thing is uh, any, any tonic polish has made my jaw drop. <laughs> those, those tonic polishes, man, they have a special something. And uh, they, are, they are gorgeous. Uh, number eight is, what do you look for the most when you purchase an indie polish? polish? Well, obviously affordability for me, um, but uh, beauty, and I'm not picky about how, in what way it's beautiful, but beauty is important to me. So it's got to strike me in some way. Either, you know, red is my favorite color, so maybe it's red, um, although I do tend to be drawn to a lot of uh, blue-green polishes and stuff like that, but... In fact, right now, um, I have more green uh, indie polishes than any other color, which is crazy because I don't wear green polish that often, but uh, I guess, well, green is, signifies health and well-being and nature, and those are great things to have um, surrounding you. So green is a great color, just in general. So I would say, um, number nine, is what direction, and this is the last question, what direction would you like to see indie polishes go in? Well, I'm not real picky. I, I want to see the artist's visions um, enacted. So that, uh, that is true. But m most of all, for me, <laughs> I would like to see them stay reasonably affordable. There are a few polishes that are $15 that I just can't, there's nothing that I can do. I just can't get them. Um, even, even if I... Uh, you know, uh, had uh, an income coming in. But, but um, Different Dimension does uh, really interesting, um, like uh, interesting, really affordable uh, multi-packages. So I got this one in a 4th of July multi-package and this uh, Dove Gray um, Hollow is just gorgeous. One heart, one hand, um, and I'll show this to you too. It is just beautiful. And I, I do a lot of, when I do uh, reverse stamping, I do a lot of uh, 
mixing this with other colors to, to get a beautiful kind of hollow uh, tint. Uh, so I've mixed it with green, I've mixed it with red, mixed it with a few different things. I, I really love this one. Um, and I, I, I want to see them stay beautiful. And of course, uh, polish has these mystery polishes that you can get. Um, before I go, I'm going to show you uh, a Braves Diva polish, another one, and another uh, polish. Uh, here we go. These are just a few of the ones I love. All right, so my favorite color that I have of the Braves Diva um, is from her Golden Girls collection, and it's called I'm as Jumpy as a Virgin at a Prison Rodeo. And it is the most vampy red in the world. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love it. Just love it. So there's that one. And then my friend Erica bought me this Vapid Polish. It's the only Vapid Polish that I have. Um, thank you, Erica. And it's called uh, Sleigh Bells, uh, and it's spelled S-L-A-Y. So I'll show you. I was opening it, but I'll show you the label. Isn't that a neat label? It's so cool. Anyway, so I'll show you that polish. It is just amazing. Look at that shimmer. Look at that shimmer. Just gorgeous. So, um, that'll probably do it. I wanted to show you a couple of other things that I, I have that I adore, like a couple of other polish colors. Here's Blackberry Preserves, um, which is a neat blackberry color. And we have Casanova, which is like a coral hollow. And um, Invisibility Cloak from their Harry Potter, which is like a light lavender foil. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. And then I have a couple of other Braves Divas. I've got her Shady Pines and Chocolate Cheesecake. These are both from her uh, Golden Girls collection. So thank you for joining me. And if you want to pick up the tag, the questions are included in the description box as well as my answers, but you'd put your own, of course. And uh, thank you for joining me today. Uh, you'll see some new videos from me pretty soon. Sorry I've been slow about that, but uh, this week I plan to get on it. And um, we, I, yeah, I'll catch you later. So um, uh, like the video, uh, subscribe if you liked it, please. Uh, it really helps me out. And uh, I will see you soon. Catch me on Instagram for Daily Manny Inspiration. Bye-bye.